Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm grateful to the Minister for that uh, update in terms of where things stand in relation to these uh, proposals. And I'd be grateful if he could take on board in discussions that he or his department officials have with the university the concerns that uh, many of my constituents would have in relation to issues to do with student accommodation, for instance, and that would be a factor in terms of some of the discussions that happen in relation to these proposals. And he will not need to be reminded of the situation regarding the Holy Land, and obviously people are very keen in my constituency not to see a repeat of those kinds of problems. So I would be grateful if he could bear those issues in mind as he and his officials continue with their discussions with the University. Speaker, uh, the member will be aware from comments that I have made in public that I uh, share those concerns. I have um, spoken about those matters to representatives of the Council of the University of Ulster uh, when the Vice Chancellor was present. Um, I believe that um, I suspect that in planning terms it may be that an accommodation element may well form part of that. Um, the issue is that Student accommodation quite frequently now is provided by private sector organisations, as a member knows. That certainly is the pattern in other universities. Um, however, we are in a slightly different position in Northern Ireland is in that people do have the opportunity to go home, uh, because generally speaking, lots of distances are not as great. So there is a different market for private sector accommodation, but I believe it could be important. I'm also conscious that in the member's constituency, to all intents and purposes, in the area surrounding the, the site of the proposed campus, there is no suitable student accommodation whatsoever. There is private accommodation, but it is not of a character that would be suitable for students. Um, as far as the Holy Land is concerned, a large number of University of Ulster students are there, and they travel to Jordanstown. Um, and there is some accommodation in Jordanstown as well. So I would have to say to the member that the accommodation would form a very significant part of our view on any proposal when it would be formally put. Dean Anderson for 